okay in the last lecture we saw that the basic principle of fiber optics is total internal reflection and we saw that the structure of the fiber is such that one condition is already met that the light is moving from denser to rarer media at core clad interface now we will try to find the condition required so that the angle of incidence at the core clad interface becomes more than the critical angle so here i have drawn for you a typical optical fiber which consists of a inner layer core whose refractive index is n1 outer layer clad whose refractive index is n2 and i have we have taken the chosen the material in such a way that n1 is greater than n2 now light is being launched from outside the fiber at angle i this light moves inside the fiber and refracts at angle theta and then strike the core clad interface at angle phi now my demand is that i need to find the condition when this angle phi is more than the critical angle now i cannot find directly the condition on phi as this angle is inside the fiber so what will i do this angle phi is related to theta because this is a right angle triangle and this theta is related to i this is my incidence angle outside the fiber at which light is launched so i have a control on this angle if i control i this will control theta which in turn will control phi which is the angle of importance so we will try to see that how do we derive this condition this is very simple so this for example if the light is being launched at i and taking the axis as central axis i move this ray around and find the locus of, of all the points of all the rays then i get a cone and this will be my circle here so the light is being launched at angle i now let us apply snell's law at the first interface n not is the refractive index of the medium from which light is being launched if it is air later on n not can be taken as 1 at present i am keeping in general n not so my first interface is n not and n1 light is being launched from air inside the core so here angle of incidence is i the ray reflects at angle theta strikes core clad interface at angle phi and if phi is greater than phi c total internal reflection will happen so we have to find this condition so now applying snell's law you all must be familiar with the snell's law it says the ratio of the sine of angle in the first media upon sine of angle in the second media angle of refraction is equal to the refractive index of second media by refractive index of first media this is my snell's law now applying snell's law at air i am taking air but still i am keeping n not air core interface so this is my first interface let's go back to the diagram here this is my first interface so how do i apply snell's law sin i by sin theta is equal to n1 by n0 so this is sin i upon sin theta is equal to n1 by n0 so sin of i is equal to 
एन वन बाई एन नॉट साइन ऑफ थीटा दिस इज माई फर्स्ट कंडीशन नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड एट द क्रिटिकल एंगल सो इफ आई टेक थीटा फॉर इफ फाई इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द कंडीशन एट द क्रिटिकल एंगल सो एट द क्रिटिकल एंगल फाई इज इक्वल टू हियर फाई सी देन इफ फाई बिकम्स क्रिटिकल एंगल थीटा विल ऑल्सो बिकम क्रिटिकल एंगल एंड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस विल बी मैक्सिमम दैट विल बी द मैक्सिमम एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस विच इज बींग विच इज अलाउड फॉर द लाइट टू बी लॉन्च्ड सो एट theta is equal to theta c i is equal to i max so i am constraining my uh, critical angle phi at phi c which is in turn constraining theta c theta is equal to theta c and which in turn constraining i so i get sin of i max is equal to n1 by n not sin of theta c and now we can see sorry in triangle a b i can write here m a b m theta phi this is 90 degree so theta c will be 90 minus phi c so i can write theta in terms of phi in triangle a b m theta c is equal to 90 minus phi c so i can write sin i max is equal to n1 by n not sin of 90 minus phi c is equal to n1 by n not cos of phi c this is my equation 2 now i will apply i will apply interface snell's law on the second interface which is core clad interface here i will apply for the critical angle when the light is being launched at critical angle the ray refracts at 90 degree so i get applying snell's law at second interface at critical angle n1 sin phi c is equal to n2 sin 90 degree if the ray is incident at critical angle the angle of refraction is 90 degree so i get sin of phi c is equal to n2 by n1 sin 90 is 1 i can find cos phi c from here that will be equal to 1 minus n2 my n1 whole square now you know we got here sin of i max in terms of cos phi c i can write the value of sin i max by substituting the value of cos phi c and i get sin i max is equal to n1 by n not under root 1 minus n2 by n1 whole square so sin of i max is equal to under root n1 square minus n2 square by n not i max is equal to sin inverse under root n1 square minus n2 square by n not this is the condition this is the maximum angle of incidence allowed so that the light propagates inside the fiber this is known as acceptance angle
that the angle at which the light is accepted inside the fiber angle and this incident ray when it is moved around the central axis it forms the cone so the cone enclosing acceptance angle enclosing the acceptance angle is known as acceptance cone is called acceptance cone so this is my condition required this is my equation number 3 so that the angle of this is the maximum angle at which the light has to be launched it should be within i max so this gives me the condition that my angle of incidence should be within i max so that the angle at the core clad interface is more than the critical angle and the light propagates inside the fiber by fulfilling the condition of total internal reflection so now if i choose my angle of incidence with this condition and the light moves from denser to rare medium both these conditions they together are sufficient for total internal reflection to happen inside the fiber thank you